at WordPress uh, shortcode. First of all, I need to make sure that the stream is actually working because I'm having quite serious trouble with my microphone. It's being choppy, so let's make sure it's it's okay. Uh, shortcode. First of all, all right. Make sure that the stream as it's working so what are the prerequisites you need to be a programmer obviously you need to have your local server set up in my case it's XAMPP on Windows 10 and I reach the um, the source files or the installation or well, after reaching localhost suffixed by 112 port so <clears throat> what we want to do right now is to create a simple shortcode uh, which produces some random HTML. So let's create a post shortcode sample. Let's. I'm using 2015 uh, WordPress theme, so it should be pretty easy. There's, there's some like um, default posts I have here, and I want the shortcode to be named my first shortcode, which is going to wrap some text around, and the text around will be hello. This is a test. It's quite simple and what I want to do with that text is to highlight it and uh, sorry that's, that's that's a mistake my first short code so what I want to do about this text is to highlight it be it either put it in some h1 or h2 tag and also um, add some extra parameter which is called the color color equals blue this will modify the style of this um, text, which by default is going to be black. So let's publish the post first of all. And let's preview it. As you may see, there's nothing in sight. It's just a bird text for WordPress because the WordPress doesn't yet recognize the shortcuts. So what I want to do right now is to open the source files of my uh, installation. I, I want to find the functions PHP file of my active team. In this case, this is 2015 and functions PHP is here. There is a lot of default code inside, so let's just go down to the bottom of the site and type in at shortcode, name of my shortcode, which is my first shortcode. Then it should be followed by the function which will run this shortcode. So my first shortcode handler. The function needs to take, uh, uh, yeah and that's it. Now we need to create this function and it needs to take args argument and as well as the content. Content equals null because we it's not a required argument. So arguments are the keys defined on the page edit screen which are here. In our case we have only one argument which is the color and the content is something which is wrapped by the short code. So this is the hello, this is a test. This is our content. So first of all, what we want to do is to extract these arguments. So we're going to go to WordPress documentation and check how it's done and look for an example. So here's our short code app API. And since we're using attributes, we want to get those short code attributes. Let's copy over the code and let's call it um, this is args because it, it should match our first parameter of our function and this can be adds because um, adds will be overwritten with arguments now we have only one argument so let's name it color and the default one will be red that's it as simple as this now WordPress will convert this um, code into an associative array with key and value pairs. So if we want to get access to our color, we have to type in color, as at color, and this will be red, unless we specify our custom color here, which is blue. So let's just type in a default one, color red and save. Now. We want to get the content, so what we have to do right now is to do the following. To make the function more readable, let's use output buffering. 
you'll have a link to the output buffer and inside the uh, you can you can check the link to what's the output buffer and about um, on a PHP documentation which will which I will link uh, which I will paste a link to in the video description I'll be get clean so now we have to do it because WordPress this function needs to have a return value instead of echoing data so we need to make sure the output is not printed as soon as the function was called and now we can put any HTML so let's try this one h2 h2 which stands for a header to style equals color double colon echo s adds color and voila we have some inline style here and now we want to echo the content php echo s content all right simple as this let's try and see it working uh, it's not the post so we have to open this post all right something was called incorrectly why let's take a look at it so um, so the fallback function is improperly improperly defined because we haven't added the handler here so let's try and fix that and voila it's working so if we take a look at the HTML produced we have h2 style color blue and h2 style color red as you may see this is the test it's working properly and this is another test it's working properly and as you may see the color has been transferred to our shortcode and that's basically it this is my first video tutorial if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to leave a comment or any suggestion on what kind of tutorial you'd like to have obviously I am a senior developer working for x 5 fan and having my own site at WPDoo and so anything you need. Thank you and enjoy.